This is a look, that's for sure. Hello, welcome to another reading vlog. I look like a rat from a trash can. It is Sunday, the 14th of January. I'm out here watching some football, reading some books. I am currently reading Fire with Fire by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. I read the first book in the series a couple days ago. Um, I didn't vlog at all though, so that's whatever. Like I said, I look like a chill right now, but the first book in the series, Burn for Burn, it was okay. It was very like cliche drama kind of ordeal. I gave it three stars because it was like entertaining enough. It kept me interested and I am continuing with the series because I own this one and I own the third one. It's hiding, but it's over there. So yeah, I'm just reading the books. Watching the football, rooting for the Steelers. They're not doing so hot. Let's hope they can pick it up. The Packers are my favorite football team because I'm from Wisconsin, so obviously. But they aren't in the playoffs this year because it was a bad, bad season. So I'm rooting for my second favorite team, which is the Steelers. Happy Sunday, y'all. So it's a little while later now. The Pittsburgh Steelers are about to lose unless they pull off some kind of crazy miracle, which doesn't look like that's gonna happen. I've gotten almost 90 pages into my book. It's okay so far. It's kind of boring because not much has really happened yet. And I think I know like the twist that's coming because when I went, when I finished the first book, I was like, do I want to keep on with the series? Cause it didn't like super impress me. So I didn't like need, feel a need to complete the series, but I was looking at reviews on Goodreads and people said that the second book is just really like interesting and good and that there's like this crazy twist and while like doing my research and reviews I think I stumbled over something that made me know what the twist is I think so anyway like I'm keeping it in the back of my mind and it's like adding up so <laughs> I'm still gonna try to finish it because you know I want to know if I'm right but yeah I'm gonna keep reading for a little while longer gonna finish the Steelers game and then I'll probably watch the next game that's up which I think is the Saints and the Vikings so go Saints because I'm a Packer fan so don't like the Vikings well I was about to make a video clip saying woohoo the Saints won and then the Vikings scored a touchdown on literally the last second last play of the game that was insane to watch I'm not exactly happy about them winning but that was a pretty crazy end game win, so there's that, I guess. I did read to page 260 in my book, though, so at least, at least I won there, I guess. Hello, so this is the better angle, um, I think. I think it's a little, actually a little crooked because I moved it and then I was like, oh wait, I wanted to film a vlog clip. Basically, as you can see, because we're in this form, uh, I just filmed some videos, so Yahoo. And I figured while I have a good angle, I might as well do a little reading update clip because it's been a few days and I haven't updated. Since I last did a reading update clip, I have finished Fire With Fire and Ashes to Ashes by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. I read Ashes to Ashes in one day, one sitting. Don't think that means it was good because it wasn't. I gave it two stars. I gave this one three and a half stars. This is definitely the standout book in this series. Um, And I think it's like, I don't know, it's probably a series worth reading if you like the plot. Like if the plot sounds interesting to you, then go ahead and pick it up. And I think I would have loved this book a lot more if I hadn't known the plot twist because I think I mentioned that I thought I knew and as the book progressed I was like yeah I definitely know and it was just so obvious because I knew. I don't know if it's obvious um, if I hadn't known like I wish I had not known so I could tell if it was obvious or not but yeah because I was not shocked and like amazed at the plot twist um, it did kind of bring this one down just a bit otherwise it was really good. Um, the first half of it is pretty slow but it is building up to the end and it kind of makes it worth it. You know what I mean? This book on the other hand, so disappointing. I'm just, I'm still mad about it. The entire book is just like, it's not bad for the most part. It was a little boring, but I was reading and like racing to finish it because I wanted to know how it ended. And then the ending came and it was so 
bad. It literally takes like a, one chapter, just a couple pages to wrap up this entire thing. The epilogue was absolutely horrendous. And there's an aspect in this book that it, the book focuses on a lot and I really liked it. And then the end of it, with like the ending of the book just ruined that aspect completely. Like, <sighs> Obviously I can't talk about it more in depth without spoiling it. Maybe I'll do a review because I am just not happy, but yeah, two stars. Horrible ending. I don't know what they were thinking. I just, mm. This is one of those where I'm going to pretend that the ending is different because nope, 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 nope. As for the book I'm going to pick up next, I'm thinking maybe The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith aka JK Rowling. I've had this for a good bit of time and I want to see if I like it. It is pretty chunky and you know, well I mean I guess it's not that chunky. I mean it's almost 500 so. But yeah, I think I want to finally dive into this series. I'll let you know how it goes. Obviously, it's this is a reading vlog. Hello, so once again it's been kind of a hot minute since I vlogged. I think it's been... I don't even know. It's Saturday now. It's been a couple days. Since I last filmed a clip, I have finished The Cuckoo's Calling. I actually ended up picking this one up on audiobook because I was reading it and then I was just like sitting there and I was like, I really don't want to physically sit here and read this book. So I picked up the audiobook, which is really good by the way. I would definitely recommend the audiobook. Um, the narrator is really great. The book overall though, I gave it three and a half stars. It was just like okay. I did like the characters, especially Robin. She was an absolute joy. I loved every time that she came on to the screen, the page, whatever you want to call it. I think the mystery, the way it came together, all the details and everything, it was really good. I didn't see it coming. I just don't know if I was in love with the writing. Not that it was like bad writing, but this book is just longer I think than it needs to be and I found myself zoning out at times and it's very conversation heavy, like super long conversations between the characters. Not much action with the plot and I think if it had more of that it would have been like a more enjoyable book. But yeah, it wasn't bad. Three and a half stars. I haven't yet read anything today because I've just been kind of chilling out. I took my dog for a walk, you know, shower, ate breakfast, all that good stuff. I've also been doing some journaling today because I got a new journal and she's so pretty. I think I'm going to do a little bit more journaling and clean my room and then I'm going to start a new book. Hopefully. Though I am leaning towards I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson, so we'll see. I think a nice contemporary would be nice. Hello everyone. Big flop here. I just listened to the audio on the last two clips that I filmed for this vlog and they're complete shit. So I'm just coming here recording a quick voiceover to say uh, I finished I'll Give You the Sun. That was one of my updates and I absolutely loved it five out of five stars the writing was gorgeous the characters were amazing and after I'll give you the sun I picked up the brief wondrous life of Oscar Wow which I listened to on audiobook because if you didn't know Lin-Manuel Miranda uh, reads the audiobook and it's great I would say the only bad side to listening to it on audiobook is that it is such a book of connections. Uh, it tells the story of not only Oscar but his family and all these little pieces connect by the time you get to the end and I probably would have been able to uh, connect those pieces better if I had read the book physically instead of listening to it. Uh, but like I said still pretty good four stars. If you want more uh, more more of a review on these two books I'll leave my Goodreads review down in the description sorry for ending the vlog uh, such a flop style but I mean what else it's it's me I I flop sorry uh, but yeah that's all for this reading vlog I'll see you in my next one bye that was weird